All right, so now we're going to be talking about XRP, but before we do so, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, right? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the uh, that uh, that little bell button right there so you can get notified about all the TA that we're bringing you about the hottest cryptocurrencies in the market. Also, please follow us on Twitter. You can follow me at Ali underscore charts, Ali underscore charts, and you can also follow my co-host Akash at Makinko with a zero at the end. So now when we look at, at XRP from a from an on-chain perspective, right? I mean the the on-chains continue to be looking bull, I mean bullish, right? I mean basically the the, the supply of stable coins on, 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 on exchanges seems to be uh, going down uh, very significantly, which basically tells you that that you know people are using their 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 stable coins or the, at least their, their USDT to purchase more cryptocurrencies right now, right? So that's a that's a good sign right there for, for a continuation of the of the bullish trend, right? You can also see that whales holding 1 million to 10 million XRP have uh, after after a basically brief period of of, uh, of selling, they are now uh, purchasing XRP once again. And over the, I mean, since October 10, they have basically increased their positions from 3.26 billion XRP, right? Uh, and now they're basically sitting at 3.29 billion XRP, which is what they're holding right now. When we look into the network growth, right, which basically uh, tells you how many new addresses are being created on the network, which can be considered as a proxy of... Uh, of uh, new users coming in and basically new new people creating new new addresses on the network. I mean, this this trend continues going up. We we stated this on or I stated this on Tuesday, and I have to repeat this again. I mean, this is at least for me. This is this key on chain metric is one of the most accurate price predictors. Usually, whenever this metric goes up, right, and continues rising, we can see a, a further continuation of the uptrend or basically prices begin to catch up with this metric, right? Uh, we, we also see uh, that, you know, the, the number of daily active addresses on the network is also going up, right? As well as um, basically the, the I mean, the, there is not that much social volume that is going up right now, which is good because uh, you don't want that social perception or too many people paying attention at XRP, right? Um, especially when prices are going, are, are kind of like, prime for a breakout because uh usually the the more the more crowded the trader the trade is the the worse it would do for you right so so this is actually the, the fact that not that much uh, that the crowd is not paying that much attention to XRP is actually a really good sign. Now, the 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 thing that I would like to see for for XRP, right? Even though we just got a higher high in on-chain volume, I would like to see uh, on-chain volume continue going up and especially basically breaking above the six billion uh, mark, right? As long as I see on-chain volume continue going up and I'm breaching that level, uh, then I will go fully bullish on, on this cryptocurrency so as of right now there is a potential for a little bit more consolidation before prices continue going up but but based on network growth i mean it's, it just seems like a like a matter of time right um now when we look at, at the at the key price levels uh, basically, the the bullish outlook will be invalidated if if XRP were to, were to close below one dollar because one dollar is the most significant support level that that it has underneath it, right? But as long as it continues to trade above uh, the one dollar support level, right, and you know the on-chain metrics continue continue rising and making higher highs with network growth, and then uh, you know with a, with a potential spike in uh, in on-chain volume, then we could see XRP potentially rise towards two dollars. I mean, first of all, one point forty. Uh, dollars and then eventually towards two dollars but but yeah based on the network dynamics right now the last thing I'm, I'm waiting for is for another spike in on-chain volume once it crosses the six billion dollar level right there um, I will be leaning uh, I will be a, a full-blown XRP bull but this uh this continuous increase in network growth even after the basically the, the significant correction that, that XRP experienced uh, in September, the fact that these uh, on-chain metrics continues uh, going up is actually a, a very bullish indicator. Um, I don't know if you're seeing anything different from a, from a technical perspective, Akash. 
Yeah, so, right, my thesis for XRP has, has remained the same. Uh, I'm a long-term bull uh, on XRP, uh, at least until it's like double digits uh, that I'm gonna sell. But for now, I uh, just wanna talk about uh, probably two, three, four important levels, which is uh, 1.01 over here, uh, 1.09, 1.26 and then 1.60, right? Uh, so these three levels are really important. And right now uh, what XRP is doing is it's uh, close above 1.01, tested it multiple times. And then finally we saw a massive pump up. Uh, I think we discussed this, uh, I think just before this happened, I think we discussed uh, uh, in one of the videos about how XRP is probably gonna go higher. And then Ali pointed out that there was a massive spike in active addresses, uh, which was, it seemed like a normally, but it wasn't. Uh, and what we're doing right now is it's uh, bouncing off of this support level at 1.09. So let me just take you to a lower time frame and <clears throat> excuse me. Right, so this is a one hour chart and uh, what I believe is gonna happen is, uh, just one sec, I think I misplaced, was it a six hour chart? Yeah, so uh, if you look at the six hour chart, there's, there's a lot of cluster of candles that have happened here. And uh, right now XRP is, Kind of getting rejected at 1.13 and uh, what's going to happen right now is it's probably going to come down here bounce off of uh, this uh, order block and then go higher uh, as Ali pointed out uh, i am uh he's also bullish on xrp but he's waiting for a volume confirmation and i believe uh, it's probably going to happen somewhere around here which is 1.1 uh coinciding with the line uh the 1.01 support level that i just spoke about 1.09 support level so going forward, what I can expect is at least like a pump to 1.26, right? There, there, there is obviously this liquidity to collect here on a lower time frame, on a one hour time frame. Uh, but ultimately I am looking at a retest of 1.26, which will, <clears throat> yep, it's uh, over here, right? So I am expecting a, from here, right? If, if it does test this level, I'm expecting like 15% upswing, but eventually I'm gonna look at uh, liquidity resting above these highs. Uh, this this will be uh, the long-term target. This is, this is probably the mid-term target where you can probably take half of your positions off and then leave the rest uh, over here. So yeah, this is, this is my take on XRP and this is how I'm probably gonna trade XRP uh, over the next, for the weekend. Yeah. That's, uh, so, that's my take on it. really good too. Yeah, that's that's really good to see. I mean, it, it does seem like like once again, right? I mean, we're, we're all waiting for for a for a spike in in, in volume, in on chain volume and trading volume to basically confirm the the bullish outlook for for this uh, uh, cryptocurrency, right? But uh, but uh, but as long as basically, uh, you know, the the one dollar support level continues to hold, this this cryptocurrency will remain on the you know. Leaning, leaning bullish, right? Uh, a break of 1.15, as as Akash said, could potentially see uh, XRP rise towards 1.23 and eventually towards 1.15 dollars. But uh, but yeah, that's that's basically our take on, on XRP. And if you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Twitter.